Well, hello, this is Professor Tony Love. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of WebAssign and the materials that are at your disposable, uh, disposal for this class. Um, in particular, I wanted to show you what WebAssign will look like when you first log on. Uh, so first, when you purchase your WebAssign account or subscription and log on, you'll see something like this. Uh, once you've registered for this class, you'll see the information up here at the top on your home page. Uh, you'll see any notices about homework or assignments coming up. And as you scroll down, you'll also see things like your grades. If you've finished any quizzes or any homework, uh, you'll see the total grades here. Um, in particular, as you study this course, there's several resources for you. The first that I wanted to show you that's very nice is this personal study plan. Now it includes everything from the book, despite the fact that we will not be doing everything in the book. But if you click on any one of these links, you'll see that it includes practice quizzes and even review uh, material for every section of the book. So this is a great tool for you to practice problems that are outside of the homework or uh, uh, just in addition to your own studies. Another great tool that you can use here, right below it, is the resources. Now, this requires quite a few links, but this is uh, a really good place to look. So I've limited here the resources to only the sections that we will study in chapters one through seven. And I'll just go to chapter one here to start. You'll see first a set of lectures uh, and their outlines. These are PowerPoint files that you can look at uh, and use as notes. They go through several examples uh, in text, just like your book will. And so they're good for that if, if you're interested in reading examples. However, down below them, you will also see lecture videos. Because these lecture videos were already made by WebAssign, I will not be making my own videos unless I really, really need to um, for the course. So what I would say is, for a section in your own study, uh, go into WebAssign, click on these resource videos, and then and watch them for each section that you're trying to do the homework on. By default, the first video that pops up is Kazmir Chak's video. Um, there's multiple videos for each section. In order to access them, you need to expand this over here. But if you don't like Kazmir Chak for whatever reason, there are also videos done by Mosley, and sometimes there are more authors as well. But this is where you can see a video lecture of the, of the material from each section of the book. You can select the chapter and the section up here, okay? Beyond that resource, there is also the class textbook. So if you'd like to just read your textbook, that's fine. You don't need to watch the videos. You don't need to go through the PowerPoints. You can just read your textbook. Uh, when you purchase your account on WebAssign for this class, the textbook comes with it. So you do not need to purchase the hard copy of the textbook. You can just use the online version. And it's a good textbook. Uh, when you're reading it on a computer, it works very well. In past experience, uh, students who read it solely on their phones have a little bit of a harder time, but uh, it's a great resource. You can see that the videos that I just showed you are linked right into it. Um, so if you want to just see them here, you can. Uh, they are only, I believe, the Kazmir Chak videos. Mosley's videos are not in here. So with that, I hope you have an idea of the resources available to you on WebAssign, and I hope you get to use them effectively throughout this semester.